Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Quick update for you. It looks like Optic Gaming just started their match in the round of 16. We yep. also see uh, Justice is, excuse me, most wanted for the day. The old school lineup, Spacely, Huddle, back with Slacked and Classic. They are just about to win. It looks like 60 seconds left. We have know. it over here, Ron. While we wait for Envy and Optic Nation to get into game two, their search and destroy. Here's a look at the final 60 seconds from most wanted I mean and stunner you say just about to win they they held that last hill but they need to break this one uh oh spacely's actually gonna fall there so huddle he yeah they're trailing break it three point game though hot point still gonna be contested they don't have control spacely's seconds. gotta go huge here oh. can't get it done mainly to the face uh oh a little lag let's go come on and let's we're go. gonna lay out let's go ahead and listen in with spacely one mid steps three in the hill they're all in the hill they keep going well mid street mid street He's coming mid steps! I need help, dude. I need my garage to too. Push out your fire, push out your fire. Push again, push again. Push down. fire, push fire, push fire, push fire. Fire, fire, 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 fire. Oh, man. We had a 70, like a fucking... Yeah, do you want to know why? Yeah, do you want to know why? Because you started pushing garage with for five seconds. And... Just fucking rotate, man. Wow, a little bit of frustration. You can see the problem. It's Huke. The Huke is on fire, man. 41, 33, 11 <laughs> I mean, caps and two defense. Look at, look at Huddle, though. 45 kills. And Temp, the guy who's filling in for TJ Halley, 39, 31. Fantastic start to that best of three, potentially a, a best of five over there. So the last five seconds they throw that game away. No, it looked like before that. No, I mean, you, you had Spacely. As in the last five seconds prior to when they lost that gotcha. kill. No one uh, watched the main street after Spacely died, and he was also calling out fire. No one pushed out. How many times did you hear him say, push, well, push, I, push, He push. said, push, fire, push, fire, and two players did. They both lost their gun. You can't. So you I don't know trade if you, that, though, right? Yeah, I don't know if you blame that on, I, uh, on Most Wanted or if you give props to Stunner. I'm going with the props. Good work, Huke. I saw you in that kill feed. Uh, Huke fan boy. I am. <laughs> just, I love this kid. Nah, 15 Huke. years old, going to be the best player one day. Potentially, I if they feel, keep making CODs like this. Can you imagine how different it would be right now if Huke was 18? If you if you had all of Stunner at the age of 18, how different all these like roster changes, all, all the trades, everything. Or even just that Stunner team staying the way they are. It yeah. would be nasty. What I love about console esports is there's always the new breed, the new wave right. of players coming right. in. We first saw it really scumpy breaking out. Yep. Uh, Eggs, TP, all young guys when they first started winning championships. I yep. remember interviewing them at the age of like 15, 16 <laughs> years old. So weird. Oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, I was just in college at the time, right. and these guys, youngsters, now they're kind of the old men of the group. Uh, there's constantly new waves. Huke is kind of the guy at the forefront of the newest wave. Mm. And right behind him, you see names like TJ Howie and more. Yeah, happy. Let's not forget about him. He's exactly. still relatively young. Yeah, I, I can't believe how young Slacked is. 17. Yeah. See, Happy is actually in the Spacely Slacked right. huddle group. Which is um, which is weird because if they form a team. 14. I'm, I'm ben just, wants this I'm, team. I want to see. I tweeted out. I was yeah, like, it, it, TJ Haley, Huke, Happy, Slacked. God Squad. That's just na that is just that is your nasty. underage god squad. That is just na because I mean let's be honest those four players for at least two two maybe three months they're gonna struggle to find a good team. Why not just all team together? And that is a team full of raw talent which I think could still place very very highly. I like it. You, know, you have to think about these things. You know what else I like? Best of fives between Optic Nation yeah, and yeah. NB. We got game number two starting up right now. They're going to search and destroy for game two. And uh, on your screen, we're going to start things off with the guy who dropped 39 in game number one. It was Mr. Karma. And uh, let's take it to him. He's starting off ASM one. It's going to have mute as well as a sniper on his back to go with that frag grenade. I have to see Karma. Can he go for that sniper? Oh, the stuns. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that puts a stop to his impressive little jump sniper. Is he going to change his class? Nope. Yep. I think he's going to keep, yeah, yeah. keep the sniper rifle out. All right, let's go. Merc already getting first blood on Swanee, though. So, uh, I'm looking for a pick hit trying to even oh, the playing field. Yeah, did he see J Cap? No. They're did. about to meet on this mid street. Action going down. He's going to poke, get one. Two more players at the bomb site. Won't be able to chase down the second, and he will be the last one cleaned up for Optic Nation. So, Envy starting things off pretty nicely here. And round number one. That would have been impressive if Karma could have maybe found that second. He knew the third was there as well because he saw him when he double jumped over. But uh, such a destroy. Definitely the Thorn and Optic Nation side. 
Yeah, you know, TP said to me that they if they can pick up one S and D, they'll win a series. How is Envy in S and D? So so, you know they have good games, they have bad games, okay. but definitely better than Optic Nation. I think it's fair to say right now, Nation's S and D is is definitely the the one thing which holds them back. You see them respawn on land, all these guys dropping serious digits, but it's just search and destroy. They just have some massive inconsistencies. And Proofy just threw himself at the Envy base. It's like, what, what, was the, what was the plan there? Like, yeah. what was the what was the strategy? Well, there's three people already dead. So Karma's like, all right, guys, we're going for the fastest deaths possible. I mean, that's two, two times he's been left on 1v4. Already, Ugh. two rounds gone, so. Ugh. If I'm, if I'm Nation, he needs to be sweating out some, some S and Ds, do something, get some S and D tournaments. I wasn't watching the mini map to see what was happening with the other two players, but Proofy being where he was as quickly as he was, uh, without checking that doorway, pretty aggressive defense. Let's see how they handle their offense. I want to go over to Proof. He's gonna go with the bell, and you can see trophy mute combo for the okay. exos. Is he the bomb carrier? Doesn't look like it. No, Teep's gonna have that bomb, but he's still gonna opt for that trophy. Nice snipes come in, and there you see Proofy cleaning up with the bell. So Karma and Proofy opening things up. Two players left. Here's one of them putting shots down. It's Nameless. Nameless gets one, won't be able to get two. He's cut down for a round win from Optic Nation. One, two, they now trail, heading back to defense. Worth mentioning, best one to the plane, best of five, two. So, okay. Looks like a couple of these teams Thank are going to go for this best of five of the gaming. Uh, this game. But the big one is phase right now. Uh, they're actually tied at 1 1 in a best of three. If they lose, I'm just going to say I called it. And. You called it I'm to happen gonna, early. I'm just going to put my hands up in the air, do a little dance, and everything's going to be okay. We'll check in on that a little bit later. So heads up there. You can check out the phase stream. That is going to be censored here on MLG.TV. But currently you're watching Optic Nation going up against Envy. Starting things off with Karma. Um, you know, Just a legendary player, two-time world champion, trying to get his team in a position to do damage at COD Champs. And he's going back with the Moors. Trying to get a pick down low. Aggressive attack here coming in from Optic Nation. All chasing the bomb carrier in the back of the base. One on three now for Merc. So much better than the first couple of rounds that you saw Optic Nation play. Just changing up that play style and picking up those first bloods. That's what's been crucial for the success so far in these last two rounds. See if they can try and continue that momentum and pick up some more. 2-2. Two, two. You want to watch defense from Envy or I offense from Optic Nation? I, I want to see a defensive side from Envy. We just saw a defensive side from Nation and you saw just very, very fast place. They they played for that map control, got the map control, and won those gunfights. And, and I do want to point out, Proofy, after, you know, with that slight mistake on his previous defense, this round he picked up two kills, playing very well with an aggressive bow push. So, okay. uh, I was, was watching, it the same? I was watching him. He was the one who led that charge, and TP was right behind him while Karma was sniping. All right, well, see if Envy can reply. He's just lost two rounds back to back. Don't want to be losing that third one. Nameless going to throw over a couple of grenades. Still has his overclock on. Merc watching A with Nameless here. And oh. down goes Nameless. Merc is going to fall right behind him. Again, it's Proofy with the two-piece. And before the bomb wow. can even get down, this round is over. Missing a couple of shots. That's going to cost him. Wow. Nation, I, three I, rounds I, I wish we had this kill cam from Proofy. Just coming and cleaning up Nameless in the same spray. Gets TP who is behind streak. him. And then Swanee comes in to finish the round. Proofy. And Swanee doing damage in that round, picking up all four. Proof started off 0-2, now 6-2, 6. -2 -6. I know who Kills we're watching. Back to back. Well, you, you want to watch Merc? Uh, uh, yeah, probably Merc or the guy on a 6 kill streak. <laughs> I think that's probably a good idea. Yeah, yeah. So we're going to watch some Proof defense. Um, I'm, I'm really curious by the... I mean, Trophy System kind of makes sense on recovery at the start, just because, you know, you see spawn nades come in. But, yeah, after the first 10 seconds, it's kind of like, well... I don't know. The A-bomb site seems to be heavily naded. Especially down here on this ramp. Oh, dead sounds or mute, I should say. Gonna go on as Proofy hunting for that seventh kill off the streak. Meanwhile, Karma pushing up, and there is gonna be that seventh kill. Proofy just picks it up, backs off a little bit. Another first blood, and, and this is gonna buy some time for his teammates to get in position. You see TP on the flank. Oh, and, that, that oh. dash cost him. That little dash to the yeah, side. Yeah, the, the boost giving up his location. Meanwhile, Proofy getting behind enemy lines picks up his second. So an eight kill streak for Proofy before finally going down. It's going to leave Karma and Swanee left in a 1v2. Clayster last man up for Envy. He's got the bomb making his way over to A. And right now there's no eyes on A. So if he gets it down quickly, he could potentially get away safe. Looking for that snipe. Needs to be quick though. Like you said, 28 seconds left. The more time ticks. 
And then it's just going to be easier for Nisha. In fact, well, he's not going to go for it. He's okay. Go for he's going to be. Is he? Ooh, I don't know. He's going for a circle. Sees a kill. Pull out the sniper rifle. Like that play, but wasted a little bit of time in oh, the hit marker. Oh, my moors. Wow. But does pick up the kill on Common. He's got to go for the one-on-one -on -one kill, though. And Swanee knows it. Swanee trying to get out alive. Clayster chasing it. Swanee's going to turn with the cover. Picks up the big round. Clay had some options there. And if yeah. he would have got the one-shot kill, I think that bomb would have gotten planted. He would have won the round, potentially. But instead, hit marker forced to chase it down out of position. And Swanee makes him pay. Yeah, that's the sort of balance you have to think about when you're using that Mauls. You get those hit markers and it isn't fun. You can be as sure as possible that you're aiming chest above, but you can still get a hit marker with it. And yeah, if you hit that arm, you're screwed. Yeah, it's arm, shoulder blade, anything like that. It's, it's it, 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 it has its questionable moments as well. I think it's fair to say, but in all honesty, you have to think about that. If you're not getting a headshot, then... We'll get this defensive eh. push real quick. Nameless gets up in Swanee's face for first blood. Nice aggressive attack. Now you're going to have Merc with eyes on a bomb player. This is Proofy over here from Optic Nation. Merc tags him up, but doesn't want to give up any free deaths. Nameless, meanwhile, flanking. And Nameless is going to get the cleanup kill with the ASM1. All up to Karma now. Bomb being planted. 1v4 for the third, third time? Third time, yep. <laughs> I was about to say. See if you can try and pick this one up. Has a play attack. Nice he's, movement. He's dead. He's oh, dead. yeah. One shot. <laughs> How do you live this long, Go Karma? for a no-scope. He's just... <laughs> If he got the if he got the triple collateral kill right oh, there, no. I would have just no. quit on the day. Yeah, uh, Crown Karma, no. king of the world. <laughs> Instead, <laughs> it is Envy cleaning him up. Honestly, how did Karma live that long? I right don't there? know. He he was dashing from side to side. Props for him to stay alive as long as he did. But Envy, a big round win for them. They do not want to allow Optic Nation to go five two into the lead. So keeping it relatively close here. Ball three still in favor. Nameless is turning it on recently. He's doing exactly what Proofy was doing as well, getting really aggressive at the start of rounds. <laughs> Meanwhile, there's a player behind him. In the one-on-one, -on -one, it was Karma. Karma getting a little bit greedy. Now Nameless answering on a second kill on this right street. Going to push to the middle where he's got some teammate support. And there is a wow. great round from Envy. They swarm and then push in from all directions. Yeah. Nation not really having any teammates in position to trade any of those kills, so... Envy just picking them off one by one. Going to tie it up at full, full hit bucket. Interesting route from Karma at the start as well. Mm. He pushed up very close on the bottom floor. And was just shot in the side. So 11 and 5 now for Nameless, I believe. He picked up two that round. Five streak. 11 and 4, excuse me. Um, on the other side, Proofy was the man. He started off 0 and 3, then picked up eight kills. Now he's 8-5 and five and shut down the last two rounds in a row, and he's met by stuns at the start. Who is that up top? It's Clay already trying to cause problems. He's looking for his oh. second kill, and he's going to get it. Oh. oh, the ground is too strong. It looks like Clay actually cleaned up by Swanee there. It's all up to J-Cap now, one on three. Yeah, another play you want in a 1v3 at two and six, but does pick up one kill. Nice start. Makes it the one versus two. TP, of course, does have the bump. Karma ASM1 around this corner as oh, well. ASM1 is going to shred through J-Cap. Yeah, there it is. And he picks up that kill. Optic Nation now 5-4 in the lead. Talk to me about ASM1 versus Bow when it comes to s and <laughs> Depends how you want to play your s and I guess. You know, mm -hmm. for the way that we're seeing, especially on this game, where we're seeing a lot of players rush, trying to get up close and personal, ASM1 is definitely the go-to. But, you know, your traditional kind of players like Swanee, for example, who like to just play s and a little bit slow, a little bit more passively, they're going to stick with that Bow for those long-range fights. But... If you run up against a team of four who are just going to rush straight into your face, more than likely on recovery, you may struggle a little bit. I feel like if you're at home trying to decide which gun you should use, you got to ask your question, yourself the question, do I turn or do I not turn very often in SMD? <laughs> if you're turning a lot of corners, you probably want to go ASM1. Yeah. If you're just looking uh, down long lines of sight, stick with that bow. At the start, you see Envy really losing control of the middle of the map it's optic nation who pushes up pretty aggressively at the start and proofy in a position to find two here cover with the sniper right behind him it's weird just going back to what you're talking about the bow that could be you know one of optic nation's somewhat flaws in snd because of course you have swanee and proofy both traditionally assault rifle players who you know are going to be using that bow so these close quarter gunfights you're really relying on karma and tp to really Ooh. go off as karma Gets the snipe. How good is Karma? Two piece, one v four, and it's all up to Merc. If Merc dies here, it is a two zero start. 
for this nation squad, and Merc has got to get oh. out of dodge shots right behind him. He's going to be chased. They have to all, all be three players looking yeah. at him. I mean, you have to. Um, Merc's going to know that too. Turns around, looks for the Gets 1v2, one. gets it, manages to dive down, looks to his left hand side. Merc could actually do no, this if he picks he up the can't. one kill. Would have been good. I like the energy though, the bed. I mean, if he didn't pick up that kill on the left hand side, if the player on the left had been peeking, yeah. It's, it's, it's on. It really is, because he did so well to get that second kill and then kind of give the, the Fist of Doom down, get himself on the floor once again as quickly as he possibly could. But uh, unfortunately, Swanee with the bow, just like, nope, don't think so. Optic Nation, Nation doing things big. We're going to cut over now to our friends at FaZe. Real quick, though, before we do, you see the numbers. 11 and 6 from Nameless going very strong for Envy. It wasn't good enough. Jcap struggling 3 and 8. That's two games in a row that he's struggling here. Yeah. Um, on the other side, pretty strong performance across the board. Karma and Proofy with the highlights in that game. Right. Looking over at phase. 3-2 in the lead now, Bucket. So okay. Still not still not a good situation. This is game three, we should remind you. And the is it round of 16 or the round before that? Round of 16 this one currently, okay. I believe. So they're going up against Echo? Slasher in fact, and no. Moj picking up the first two It's not. Here. This isn't even round of 16. Round of 32 action. So this would be an SB-style loss if they go out here. I think you win this score. That's that would be. Keep back. That'd be. I mean, it's a one v four right now for yeah. Trump. So yeah, the phase should win that round, and they do. Four two though. Still, not really in a comfortable zone there. They had that defensive side. Now phase gonna go back over to the attacking side, and that's gonna be a must win. And one thing I love about Biolab S and D is just you kind of have those two options. You either rush purple, try and get control, go for that quick plant. Or you can go over towards that A bomb site. Maybe go towards that green plat, play a little bit passively, look for some sniping kills, top blue. And for FaZe, playing with Mochilla as well, who I think we all know at this point, Justice's S&D record isn't the best. Fuck it, let's just put it not that way. The best. It's, 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 it's not the best. It's a surprise when they He's, win. Yeah, <laughs> it really is. Um, it, it, it's, a, it's a weird one because, you know, he tends to lead that Justice team, so his role now playing as a pickup for FaZe is going to be very interesting. Actually, I can hear Optic Gaming's. Um, cool ass. So I may have done goofed on the red zone. I forgive you. Yeah, okay, cool. I, yeah. like, I like hearing Scumpy yeah. Scumpy's voice, though. Me. Yeah, you hear Nate Shot talking in a sensor. Not this here. Mm -mm. Um, oh, that's a big first blood from Slasher. That's that's the snipe I was talking about. You know, when you head over towards green, get that snipe top blue, opens up that whole bomb site, and all Sensor needs to do is win that gunfight. Does so. Three versus one. And He's got plenty of support over here at A as well. They're chasing it down. So a good two rounds real quick here from FaZe. They're one away from closing it out. And I, I think we can just assume they're going to be moving on. Let's let's take a look at this optic match that you have set up as we bring it back to us. Also, game three, Biolab CTF is actually loading up right now. So 30-second commercial break. We'll be right back with more Optic Nation Envy going into game three. Nation in a position to close it out with the Swift 3-0.